for this problem on the topic of gravitation, we are told that the orbit of the Earth around the Sun is nearly circular. The closest and furthest distances are 1.47 times 10 to the 8 kilometers and 1.52 times 10 to the 8 kilometers, respectively. We want to use these values to find the variations in total energy, the variations in gravitational potential energy, the variations in kinetic energy, as well as the variations in orbital speed. Now, to compare the kinetic energy, potential energy, and the speed of the Earth at the aphelion and perihelion, the aphelion being the farthest distance and the perihelion being the closest distance, we can apply the conservation of energy and the conservation of angular momentum. Now, as the Earth orbits about the Sun, the total energy is conserved. So that's a half m at the aphelion, a half m v a squared minus the gravitational potential energy g times the mass of the sun ms times the mass of the earth me over the separation at the aphelion ra is equal to the energy at the perihelion a half m vp squared minus g ms me divided by rp and addition Angular momentum is also conserved, so VA RA is equal to VP RP. Now, for the first part of the problem, we want to find the variation in the total energy. Now, total energy needs to be conserved, so there's no difference between the values at the aphelion and the perihelion. And so the variation in total energy is zero. For part B, we want to find the variation in gravitational potential energy. So delta U is equal to the gravitational potential energy at the aphelion minus the gravitational potential energy at the perihelion, which is minus G into ms me into 1 over Ra minus 1 over rp and so if we substitute our values in this is minus 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 newton meter squared per kg squared we'll suppress the units here times the mass of the sun 1.99 times 10 to the power 30 kg times the mass of the earth 5.98 times 10 to the 24 kg multiplied by 1 over the separation at the aphelion 1.52 times 10 to the 11 meters minus 1 over rp 1.47 times 10 to the 11 meters. And so if we calculate this, we get the difference in gravitational potential energy to be approximately 1.8 times 10 to the power 32 joules. Next, we want to find the variation in kinetic energy. And since we know that the change in kinetic energy plus the change in potential energy must equal to zero, we have delta K is equal to the kinetic energy at the aphelion minus the kinetic energy at the perihelion, which is minus the change in gravitational potential energy. So the change in kinetic energy is also approximately minus 1.8 times 10 to the power 32 joules. This keeps the total energy of the system conserved. In part D, we want to find the variation of the orbital speed. Now, with the conservation of angular momentum, we have VA RA is equal to VP RP. And so 
the change in kinetic energy delta k is ka minus kp which is a half me into va squared minus vp squared which is a half me va squared into 1 minus ra squared over r p squared and from here we can find the speed at the aphelion va and this is the square root of 2 delta k over the mass of the earth me into 1 minus ra squared over rp squared and so calculating we get the speed at the aphelion to be 2.95 times 10 to the 4 meters per second and so therefore the variation in speed delta v is equal to va minus vp which is equal to 1 minus ra over rp times va which is known and so this is 1 minus 1.52 times 10 to the 11 meters divided by 1.47 times 10 to the 11 meters multiplied by VA which is 2.95 times 10 to the 4 meters per second and therefore the variation of orbital speed between the aphelion and perihelion is equal to minus 0 0.99 times 10 to the 3 meters per second or minus 0 0.99 kilometers per second.